Have you got one of these? A garage chock-a-block full of stuff. Well, so's Rebecca, and I'm here to give her a hand to sort it out. I love a bit of picking. That means you can have a sticky beak at what's in people's garages. Rebecca? Hi, Jason. How are you? Fabulous. Now, I'm pretty excited about this. Me I love, too. I love a good pick. We've got a lot to pick from, I've got to tell you. When did it start? My husband and I have been gathering treasures for about 25 years. We go to second-hand flea markets and things like that and just pick things that we find are really cool. And um, now we have way, way, way too much of the cool stuff. And what's the end goal? Is it to clean your garage out or is it to make a few dollars? So we want to get rid of some stuff, get some money. Show me what you got. All right. All right, we got a mess. I love a Here mess. Mess equals money. The first thing I noticed when I opened the door was that it was stacked high and it was an absolute mystery to what was in there. Is this what I think it is? It sure is. Box of pennies? There are a lot of pennies there. Well, they're like a dollar each at the markets. There's at least a thousand. Let's sell them. Sell. Sell. Ugh. The, what the about pedal the car? car? In this condition, they can sell for anything from $300 to $500. What about this one? What is that? It is a Pifco Princess. It's 1950s. Hair dryer. I'm sure someone wants it, so let's sell it. Don't break it. It's priceless. You break it, you buy it. The truth is, there's a lot of things that you could cut around to markets week after week and not sell them in their garage. But if you get out the real cool things, the things that make you go, wow, what is it? They're going to sell because they make your heart flutter, they make your brain dream, and someone wants it. Some seashells. Near the ocean in these. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah lots of money. these. Look at this. Nice. Beauty. See us making money. We could probably sell these on eBay or Gumtree. The negative with that, I reckon, is people come to your house, they say they're going to come and buy something, pick it up, you wait at home for an hour or two, ruin your weekend, they never turn up. I reckon we pull the band aid off and we sell it at auction. Very exciting, isn't it, Beth? Yep, it's oh, awesome. You got a car full of stuff. Hopefully, you get a bag full of money. Thank you so much. I'll call you from the auctions. Okay, you do that. Bye. See ya. Well, ten dollars then. Ten is a bit. Thank you, ma'am. Ladies, a bit of ten dollars. Fifteen. It's all five. very exciting. The Beck stuff's in the auction. I can hear him singing away down there, selling other people's stuff. Now, the way it works is there's a premium to buy and sell of about 18%. So if you sell something for 100 bucks, you pocket 82. And if you buy something for 100 bucks, you pay 118. What I like about it is you get your money within a week. So you're not hanging around for payment. Four is two artworks, $20. Lot number 22 is a Pifco Princess hair drying ensemble, straight from the 1960s. 45 in black, 50 down the front. 60 with you now, sir. 60, 70, I have. 70 is there, he shakes his head. All done for 70. $70 to your number, sir, is. The vintage hairstyle equipment sold for $70. The pedal cart, $270. The big bag of pennies, $170. The giant seashells are whopping $130, and in total, they had 25 auction lots that sold for a total of $1,535. So imagine what hidden cash is sitting in your garage right now.